Suppose we want to, we start with the simplest thing possible, which is try to calculate the kernel for a free particle. Okay. So we return to the Sorry, this nodes are written in terms of classical mechanics <coughs> terminology Q rather than X. Uh, so I will not try to change back to X. So we had this PQ dot minus uh, H, but what I am going to do now is to write the Lagrangian version of the thing directly. However, the p slice p integrals are there and that is what this unknown uh, n is for. It is actually not an unknown, you can calculate it exactly. So exercise calculate n. Uh, so ignore all this technicality right now. What I want to demonstrate is that this thing can be calculated from an expression like this and the key trick is to use or rather abuse the Gaussian integral many, many times. So uh, and note that this is equal to i over h cross 1 half m velocity square which would have dt square but there is integral dt so that cancels 1 delta t. So this is what we have. Now what we are going to do is to uh, this looks somewhat easy to do because instead of q I should use differences of q then it is just of a Gaussian form right it is exponent d say suppose it is qj plus 1 minus qj as the integration variable 
then it is integral dy e raised to y. So, y j etcetera we should have this kind of integral. yj square times uh, half m. And that is a uh, bit like the Gaussian integral if between friends we imagine that i is actually a minus sign. Okay. So, we say that O oh, that is minus sign times a minus i. So, I will treat the minus i as some constant okay, and just do a Gaussian integral. So, uh, if we do this Gaussian, Gaussian integral what answer do we get? So, let us do this right you understand we agree that that is what will come out of this we just have a product of these lots of these. So, let us do this elementary Gaussian. So, recall that uh, we have e raise to yeah. So, e square root of pi over sigma. So, in this case we should get and let me write this quite clearly minus infinity to infinity d uh, what do you, okay you can write y j d y j e raise to and now I have i m and there is a delta t as well hmm? y square m over delta t. So, <coughs> i m over 2 h cross delta t times y j squared should become equal to square root of pi and then divided by so times 2 h cross delta t over minus i m. So, that is what we use as the basic tool and there is yeah. So, the if there is T j then you put T j. Okay. So, we go here and do this, but there is one minor technical problem which turns out later to be interesting. It is that the number of uh, differences is one larger than the number of integration variables right, because you have from 0 to n. So, if I have uh, 3 differences, but then there are 4 points. In other words, this integration goes over only 1, this and this, but then there are uh, 3 differences. So, there and also I am sorry to say yes. So, there is also q j plus 1. So, th this is actually right. So, this is actually n plus 1. So, if this is i and this is f then it is 1 to n in between that is right. So, the number of slices and the i and f are fixed. So, the number of intervals is 1 more than the number of integration variables. So, 0 becomes q i and you go up to n then you get q n plus 1. So, you will get the right. So, 0 is equal to same as q i which is so I should probably be writing uh, yeah because of that yes ok. So, that is actually not an integration variable, but in summation you have to put it because otherwise you will not get the thing. So, what we do is that we in introduce one more auxiliary uh, y. So, the first one will be so we define like this 
y j is equal to q j plus 1 minus q j. So, there will be a y 0 and uh, we put a delta function to show that that extra 1 is actually uh, not genuine. So, let y0 be equal to, uh, so firstly let yj be equal to qj plus 1 minus qj ie y0 is equal to q1 minus qi, right. And now we got n plus 1 y j is to integrate over. So, j goes from 1 to n, no sorry 0, 0 to n that is how I get right. I have to have j go from 0 to n. So, we also insert How are the constraint? <coughs> well, if you add all of them, then you will get qf minus qi, right? Sum over all the y's is just qf minus qi. So, minus qf plus qi. So, we insert an auxiliary p. and this we write as equal to the delta function we write as an exponential representation. Yes. So, for the delta function, we simply wrote the well known formula, well known representation. What is this? This is sum over sum over y. good and we inserted a gratuitous 1 over h cross and divided by 2 pi h cross so that we match up with all the other h crosses that are occurring here. So, this has to be inserted and once we do this we get this
So, ignore the limit n going to infinity part, but we write integral product over instead of i to n, I now write 0 to n and write dyj, right. I traded the q's for this by and I need to put the Jacobian of this transformation. Um, so, that we can calculate here Jacobian of transformation from d q i's to d y j's is 1 actually if you do it because um, if you take so which is inverse of d y by d q this is what I am putting because I am going to insert it here. So, that Jacobian is 1 because well so it is inverse of d y j by d q i's and that is easy to compute because d y by d q d y j by d q j is equal to minus 1, but d y j by d q j plus 1 or any other j is equal to 0. So, you just get a product of minus 1s actually which does not really matter because there is an overall because Jacobian is after all modulus of this ok. So, it is equal to 1. So, the Jacobian of transformation is 1. Um, so, that is not needed here. Oh, I am so sorry, <laughs> not infinity. Huh. Very good, thank you. Thanks. Right. So, all you have to do is start writing y n equal to q f minus q n y n minus 1 equal to q n minus q n minus 1 and going up to y 0 equal to q 1 minus q 0 q i, but if you add then these things will keep cancelling and so you accumulate that sum of 0 to n of q uh, of y j is equal to simply q f minus q i. So, that is what that is and here again you can see directly how the Jacobian will work out because the derivatives are all either plus or uh, they are all minus signs but you do not have to worry about accumulating minus sign because Jacobian is always modulus of that thing. Jacobian has the interpretation of a volume, so it has no sign. So, <coughs> right. So, thanks for pointing out the errors. Okay. So, let us just see. So, we have this integral and then we have integral uh, so, that gets all of this including this, then we can put a 1 over 2 pi h cross and then we can put an integral minus infinity to infinity d p. Then we can put in uh, that expression. So, exponent of i over h cross sum over 0 to n so in this sum over 0 to n i will try to include this piece as well so we put 0 to n m over 2 and 1 over delta tj's which is just t j plus 1 minus uh, you know it is difference of the successive time values times y j squared and <coughs> in this summation we also have uh, p y j right. 
and finally outside the summation we have i over h cross p times q f minus q f plus q i. So, plus i over h cross p into bracket minus q f plus q i. So, this i p q f minus q i can all come out. So, we can write it as 1 over 2 pi h cross and we have forgot the big n outside an unknown n is lurking there, but not to worry about it. Uh, or you can write it as minus i p q f minus q i right and now we have a product of various integrals this d y j and then this Gaussian integral. So, let us just call them i i j's product over j i j and i j is equal to integral uh, minus infinity, infinity d y j x i over h cross and we need to write only one j term. So, into m over 2 1 over delta t j y j squared plus p y j. Now, this we do by completing the squares and converting it into a Gaussian right there is a y j squared and there is a y j. So, yes <coughs> now to do this we need to add and subtract No, sorry, m over 2 will have put a 2 there anyway, so I do not need anything here. Good, right, and minus um, pj square multiplied by tj over 2m. So, now what we have to do is to shift in this in, uh, in this integral we have to shift the y j by this amount which is some constant, but the integration range is minus infinity to infinity. So, it does not matter and we get a Gaussian with this as the 1 over sigma squared we had written somewhere uh, yeah <coughs> my sorry so equal to sigma uh, we put sigma x squared yes. So, if there is sigma here 1 over square root sigma occurs. So, here this is what is sigma. So, 1 over square root of that will occur and this will just come out because it is not in the integration. So, i j is therefore equal to 
uh, e raised to just the minus p square t j delta t j over 2 m and there is an i of course, uh, in i over h cross in front of everything. P j squared over 2 m uh, sorry p squared over 2 m we like that expression because it looks familiar minus i over 2 p squared over 2 m times delta t j and times square root of a pi factor and uh, this is the sigma squared. So, 1 over that. So, 2 delta t over and then it, there is the i h cross multiplying it. So, h cross over and we have to put a minus i okay, so that is what i j is. Now, we do not have to be frightened by all this because all this masala will cancel that n in front. Okay. So, if you do the p integral in the exercise correctly, then you will exactly cancel this strange accumulating factors. You remember that this is going to get a product, an infinite product of delta t j s in the limit that uh, n is going to infinity, but it is all ok because it is just an overall factor and actually you will find that if you have done the exercise correctly that the first p integration generates exactly these things and they just all cancel. Okay. But we are left now with a nice piece e raise to minus i over h cross p squared by 2 m times a delta t j in the numerator and then there is a product of these. So, there is a summation in them. So, it will just become T f minus T i okay. and so the answer is so that you do not form the impression that like a genius we are writing the answer here. It is equal to n times this product um, product over 0 to n two pi h cross delta t j over i m there is a minus i was it minus required yes yeah so you should put minus i m but that does not matter because ok. So, this strange factor, but we are going to read these two together and as I told you it will go away most of it will go away if you do this and times a very nice integral. The integral is minus infinity to infinity d p over 2 pi h cross e raise to minus i over h cross into p f uh, into p times q f minus q i that is that one right e raise to minus i q f minus q i and then from the summation of the n delta n's we get uh, plus p squared by 2 m. Okay. And this is the answer, this is the answer in the form I like it 
you can because now you have become experts at doing this do this one last integral one more it is just one more Gaussian there is dp there is p squared and there is a linear term so complete this square and then you can beat it down to a final answer so actually this answer amusingly is given in so can be so exercise number 2 this part as I am telling you will become 1 if you do exercise number 1. So, if you do this exercise number 2 you will find an answer which is given in Schiff's book as an exercise okay, but not through path integral. So, Schiff is a very clever very very clever book it, it has a lot of hidden gems in it Schiff and Merzbacher these two books are really very nice books for theorists to read. <coughs> 